Let's move on to the Big Ten. Interesting game in Iowa City, Iowa for a Thursday night. Look at Michigan getting five points on the road at Iowa, who's played better as of late. They came from behind and beat Indiana a week ago after being down 20. They're laying five here. They beat Rutgers on the weekend at Rutgers, total 154. Matty Cox, you are on this game. What's the official play for you? I'm taking the Michigan Wolverines on the road. Very scary to fade Iowa when they're at home, especially uh, with the subtle uptick and improvement that we've seen from the Hawkeyes after that disastrous three-game swoon, um, most notably headlined by the disastrous loss to Eastern Illinois. If you look at who they've gotten back in the last few games, I got Chris Murray back three games ago. He's looked like himself, um, and they look much better against Indiana and against uh, Rutgers, their their big road win uh, on Sunday. I think that was the most impressive of this recent stretch. I think we look at the, the Indiana win um, by two points, a game that Iowa had to come back uh, from a pretty significant deficit. We look at what Indiana did last night. I think that's sort of a, eh, you know, not that impressive as you kind of look at it through uh, in a postmortem lens. On the other hand, Michigan, I know they blew out Maryland, and that was maybe a fluky result, but they took care of Penn State pretty easily. Uh, a little bit late state, a late Penn State run, but they staved them off. Um, got caught in sort of a uh, a grinder affair in their cross, uh, you know, in-state rival Michigan State on Saturday, losing that by six. I still think this Michigan team is a subtle buy low right now. They're a younger um, backcourt. They've had to shuffle some of the rotations around. I think Dickinson is locked in for this matchup. Uh, should have a pretty substantial uh, interior edge against the Iowa front line. And that defense I still don't trust. Um, I know Iowa's starting to play a little bit better, as I talked about earlier, but it's a defense that I think can be exploited. Uh, Michigan's had success on the road in Iowa City. I think Phil Martelli and Juwan Howard have a pretty good game plan here offensively. Um, the ball's got to be moving. It started to stick a little bit last game. I think they move it and have a little bit more success against a softer Iowa defense. So take the Wolverines with the points. All right. And Matty Cox, by the way, uh, has done well with the Big Ten. I just looked you up. You're five and one with your Big Ten plays on the show over the last two weeks. That includes in that an Illinois. We, we, we have an Illinois cover for you earlier in the week, easily against Nebraska. Let's see what happens tonight. Kyle Hunter, thoughts on this one, if no official play with Michigan at Iowa, sir? Yeah, I mean, um, as a Buckeyes fan, I'm not usually a Michigan fan, but I'm certainly rooting for Michigan in this one. Um, TJ, we kind of talked about last week, Iowa and Fran McCaffrey. Um, who knows what Fran McCaffrey will do tonight. There's probably going to be a blow up and a technical at some point. Um, <laughs> Michigan, Michigan should have beaten Michigan state according to shot quality, 66, 64. So they got a bit unlucky and couldn't game. make shots. Yep. Yeah. And, and then Iowa at Rutgers was n knocking down some really tough shots. I remember watching that game and thinking this one's probably going to be a bit skewed when we look at what the result should have been. They won 76, 65 shot quality thinks they should have lost 75, 69. So um, I think that's a good double play for uh, uh, Iowa coming into this one, probably a bit too high and Michigan coming in this one a bit too low. I don't think Iowa is as good as some people think they are right now. And I think Michigan's probably a bit better than some people think. Um, remember Iowa too. They they needed Indiana to get pretty banged up. I mean, two of their best players were out of the game to come back in that one. Um, and though Iowa has been a good home team in the past, this year at home they did lose to Wisconsin. They lost to Eastern Illinois. Um, you know, the Indiana game they weren't exactly playing very well until the injuries happened. So I do think getting the points here in this one is a good look. So I agree here. Chris Murray leading them with 21. He really took advantage when the uh, Indiana player got hurt in the first half. Uh, who was all over him because he then scored 21 in the second half in their comeback. Um, and he's he's obviously somebody Michigan's got to watch. Matty Cox says, I like the Wolverines. I like the number. And he will take Michigan officially here in Iowa City for this matchup, 7 Eastern time on ESPN2, Michigan and the plus five for our third official play.